Holy crap, I got a lot of swords. So I'm getting ready to teach a workshop in St. Louis to a group of wannabe slayers. They're nice guys, but they're like a Star Trek convention in black leather. Yeah, Bob's like my hero, man. But if there's one thing I've learned, you can't judge a book by its cover. Well, him and Bob Marley. Okay, well, sometimes you could judge a book by its cover. But Bob Marley didn't fight vampires. Okay, sometimes the book is exactly like the cover. It'd be cool if he did. Okay, so I need the money. <laughs> While I'm there, I'm also going to be looking for this kid, oh. Damien. He looks like a nice kid. Not too crazy about the name, though. I think Jeff, Billy, up the spawn of Satan. He contacted us a couple weeks ago after he was bitten. He's alone, confused, angry. Well, he's a teenager. What are you gonna do? Okay, so I got a lot of swords. Some people collect Pez dispensers. I've got swords. Doesn't make me a bad person. I think you're ready to go. Oh yeah, there is one thing I hate worse than flying, and that's flying with Mikey. Let's do this. You got everything? Wait a second. Let's you had the tickets. Welcome to LAX. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. A place where everyone is considered a terrorist, regardless of race, creed, color, or the number of edged weapons you're carrying. Okay, I am a 6'5 slayer with a golf carrier full of swords wearing a full black leather coat in the middle of summer. But come on, do I look like a terrorist? And you thought it was tough getting nail clippers on board. Yeah, he just kind of walked away. Once they realized there was nothing in the rules about a golf carrier full of swords, all they could do was dust the blades for explosives and send me on my way. I thought the strip search was unnecessary. But you know the one thing that I hate most about flying is that planes just aren't built for 6'5 slayers. God, I hate flying, coach. Everyone sitting in the exit row can die. My knees hate you all. Planes. Why'd it have to be planes? Okay, guys, gather round. I just want to remind all of you that Bob will be here at 3 p.m. for advanced Slayer training. Uh, is it true that he's going to want us to pay for this in blood? And, uh, who told you that? I hear he never sleeps. I heard he's a vampire. That's probably because of all that Mountain Dew he drinks. Why would he kill vampires if he were one of them? Well, I want to stick me a vampire. And while we're on the subject, stop trying to convince everyone that Buffy's a lesbian. You squeal like a pig. Whee! Now listen, you guys, this guy's a professional. I don't want anyone screwing around. And I don't want to piss him off. <laughs> Alright, Mikey, we've seen it. Can we go now? Okay, come on, guys. Get around. Come on. Let's go. Guys? This is Bob, a real-life slayer from L.A. Bob, these are the guys. Hey, guys! How you doing? Yep, exactly like the cover. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's take it from the top. Uh, how many people here have been bitten? By a vampire. Yeah, I saw a vampire once. Yeah, I found me a vampire once. Uh, I chased him for like four blocks. He's living in this alley. But then he disappeared, and then I saw another one. Cardboard box, tattered clothing. So I started chasing him. Didn't run too fast, had kind of a gimpy leg. But he freaked out and called the cops. Oh, I cut him good. He like forgot it was Halloween. Are you sure that wasn't a bum? I gotta go. Okay, well, let's take it from the top. These guys are exceptionally strong and twice as cocky. So when they go to attack, don't just try to parry this attack. They will just plow through it. Instead, let them swing. Step aside and deflect this and use that moment to plan your next attack and fall through with everything you've got. Okay, guys, looks like our time is up, but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for inviting me and Mikey out here. We had a great time. And it was quite, uh, it was quite uh, an experience getting to know all of you. And, uh, well, thanks again and happy hunting. Yeah! Bob, we'd like to thank you. And we do have one last surprise for you. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. Hey, well, we thought, after all this classroom instruction, that you could give us a practical demonstration on the real thing. Yeah! <laughs> What the hell you think?
think you're doing? He's one of them, can't you tell? He's just a kid. He's still one of them. Just because you've been turned doesn't give you the right to kill someone. Says who? You do it all the time. Look, I'm sorry if we offended you. But if you won't take care of this, then we will. Well, I want to stick me a bit. Squeal like a pig. Whee! Crazy? I told you he's one of them. You got yourself a player? I told you Bob's one of them. Let's rush him! Yeah. But if there's one thing I've learned, you can't judge a book by its cover. You know how you can judge a book by its cover? When the cover has a picture of this kid trying to take my head off with a freaking broadsword. Now I know that stereotypes are stereotypes for a reason. Screw it, the kid's gotta die. Hate to tell you, but I told you so. <laughs>